in this video i want to show you how to create a project gun chart diagram so the first step is to enter your tasks so this is a project gun chart for um refurbishment of meeting rooms uh, one and two so the first step is to enter your tasks which are here and this is the main task which is the, the subtask then we'll enter the duration of each task and we are going to use the project uh, management code for finish to start so i'm going to assume this takes three days four days two days five days three days then this will take one two days three days one day then five days then we use so the start date of this shall be uh say we're going to start this uh, 1st January 2020. Then the end date will be a date after the duration but must be on a weekday. So we, we, we use the workday function which gives us the next working day after a start date excluding holidays. So the start date then comma we include the end date. Then we format this as a date by coming here so format then format this as date like that the next start date for the I mean for, for the next um, task will be end date here plus one day so that it starts uh, so that it starts on the next day then you enter like that next is to use the workday function now to drag this you can either drag down or we use again the workday then start date comma then the end date uh, the, the, the duration of the task format this as well but you can also drag this down so that this now becomes like that then the start date of the next uh, task is the end date of the previous task plus one then after that we also include the work day and say this date comma then one so this is going to jump the whenever the task falls on a weekend is going to jump to the next work day here we are not considering um holidays then next is now to use a combination of data validation and conditional formatting to color our cells on the gun chart based on project status so on this we include the status of a particular task for this case we will have the project status on my other sheet which is on track off track recoverable and on plan i'll give this a name and call this project status or task status on the name box then press enter you can also give the same names by going to formulas then define name so that you can give a name to your list now back to my task state um, back to my tasks i want to include a drop down here of the task status i'll go to data then data validation then on the validation criteria i'm going to change this uh, i'll change this to list so that i can allow only a list of the task status on my cells then i can use either the shortcut f3 or go to formulas then use in formula i pick task status then I click OK. My task status will show up here as a drop down. You can choose any that you want, or you can also copy this downwards. So Control plus C to copy, then Control plus V to paste. Then I also paste here Control plus V, so that in each of these cells I have the project task st task status. Then after that I can uh, select at least uh, some status on my drop down list so that it becomes my guide when writing the functions or formulas that requires uh, me to now show up the the various tasks how they are um, they're, they're showing up on the gun chart on the gun chart instead of coloring this um, manually for example using these colors here instead we power this using functions so to do that we want to see the actual project start dates and the end dates so i'll type here one so one so 2020 
as the first day of the project. Then I'll use the normal um, function by adding one here so that it gives me the next date. Then I'll pull this to a date in the future, like that. Make sure they fit to my cells. So I can do that by changing the orientation of the text to this, like that. Then I reduce the size of my uh, columns so that I'll have it there. Now we want to use the logical if functions, a combination of if and now we're going to write the if function that allows us to mark these cells based on the start date and the end date and based also on the project status or the task status so i'll write the if function if and then we'll say if this cell here f1 then i'm going to use f4 to lock the row is greater or equals to the start date then i'm going to lock the column there the second one is whether this date here, I'm going to lock using F4, the row again, is less or equals to the end date. Then I'm going to lock also the column there. And the third is whether this project status or the task status, and I'm going to lock the column because I'm going to drag this, is equals to on track. Like then, then I'm going to start. Um, well, I'll start using the letter A. Then I'm going to return A. That's the first uh, part of the function. The next part of the function is to test whether. So the same thing, but this time round, if it is recoverable, then we're going to return B. If it is on plan, we'll return C. And if it's off track, we're going to return D. So I'm going to copy only, I'm going to copy the same function, but only change the letters or the statements on the project status. So I'll put that, then I'll say if it is recoverable, recoverable, then we're going to return uh, the letter, now I'm going to close that, then we're going to return the letter B. Okay. Remember also to close this so that we don't get any errors in our functions. Then it will be B. The value if false, I repeat the same, but this time around it will be on plan. So it will be on plan. On plan will be like that. Then put quotation marks close then say this will be the letter C then comma and to paste again this time round it will be off track off track then this will return the letter D after closing the brackets there will be letter D like that then I'm going to enter we check for errors, here we have a comma, then I'm going to type like that. Then pull this to like that, and pull this downwards here, like that. Now, the next step is to now color this based on the letters that show up. So I'm going to select this part, we'll come back there from the project status control shift right arrow and then down arrow like that so i'm going to go to conditional formatting i light cell rules and say i want if the text contains a then i'm going to color it we can put color code say if it's on track we are going to color it as green so custom format then the font color and the uh, cell color will be the same so that we don't have to see the letter so the font color will be green here and the fill will also be green then okay then okay like that we repeat for the letter b i light cell rules text containing b we're going to color it with blue 
that is if it's recoverable we are going to color it as blue and also the font's color will also be blue then okay for color C we say the color C is when it is on plan so when it's on plan we are going to use um, amber or we can use we can choose a color that is so when it's color C I'm going to go to custom format then I'm going to change this color and use purple let's use purple for that then the color here as well for the field will be purple then click OK if it is off track we're going to say it is D so the color D we're going to color it with red text that contains D then we're going to use the custom format and say the font color here will be red and also the fill color will be red then click OK then OK now we can go to view to remove grid line so that we get a clean um, sheet like that and now we can now place our place the put the our cell borders so you can put it like that cell borders come back here and also place cell borders then. now what happens is if I change this to for example on plan I expect it to change to purple if it is off track it's going to change to red and if it is recoverable it's going to change to blue thanks for watching my name is David Kandir.